the perfect guy is that really a thing i understand a good number of ladies have got a checklist of the kind of guy they would love to be in a relationship with and how the guy is supposed to behave and i don't see anything wrong with that you should have a list of exactly what you want in a partner before you even start dating mm -hmm, again mm -hmm. i need to know exactly what i'm looking for so that that can give me the path to what i want so a green flag for me may not be for you i know i need an affectionate man come on i need a man who is present i need him to love on me to make me feel sexy and wanted that's what i need yes. somebody yeah, I have else a question about mm -hmm. that. can this list be modified yes of yes. course oh, so and of course yes. so that list is gonna always be it's, it's probably going to be modified so the older you get doesn't have that one thing serious, you don't you don't just cross him out no you just, yeah. he might he Nobody might be higher on the okay. list on another thing yeah and yeah. then sometimes okay. you might find someone with the list and then you get to there and you're like oh i really don't need but if he doesn't that. have or, anything ooh, on your list oh no that's a wrap well see this is the thing i think that so i'm 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 a list person and so i've done the list i really am and i've done the list thing and what i'll do is i'll put like an asterisk next to things that are like important Standards. i need yeah. this right Seven things that a man has to do before I agree to be his girlfriend. This may sound ridiculous, but I created a list of materials that they have to read, watch, or do if they want me to be an exclusive or permanent part of their life. This list is a way to filter out men who aren't serious about me, who don't share the same worldview, who we have the same sense of humor to make sure they don't hate women, and also it proves that he's willing to put in work to be with me. Number one on my list is he has to read book one and two of A Court of Thorns and Roses. He needs to know that I'm looking for a resand and not a tamlin. Number two is In the Flow by Alyssa Vidi. I have different needs depending on where I am in my hormone cycle and he needs to act accordingly to them. Number th Meeting a perfect guy, that guy that ticks all your boxes from the get-go, in my opinion, it's a red flag. It's not something for you to be excited over, but it's something for you to pay close attention to. The perfect girl or guy for you doesn't exist they don't exist so you're gonna be out looking for someone that's good but you're not gonna find perfect don't get obsessed with finding perfect if you find someone that's perfect it's, it's not true everyone's got their flaws hello fam how you all doing please take a moment to like this video and subscribe thank you so much for your support i'm very grateful a good number of guys out there are corny deceitful and desperate they're willing to put up a performance just to be in your life and get into your panties dating these days is a struggle it's so difficult telling who is genuine and who is faking it in this video we are diving into the shocking truth of how some men actually fake their personality just to win women over in relationships relationships stay tuned make sure you watch this video to the very end because you're about to learn something that will change the way you see dating we will be talking about how men manipulate their personalities in relationships to seem like the ideal partner mimicking of interest to seem compatible also known as the mirror image strategy a good number of men out there do this when they meet a lady that they are interested in and to them it's obvious that this lady is above their league and they know that they stand no chance so men will take it upon themselves to stalk this lady study her understand her likes her dislikes what she's into what she doesn't like places she loves to visit if she's a church girl they are willing to become fervent christian so they can prove to the lady that oh they love similar things we have the same belief i love god the way you love god if it's a tv show they will start watching the tv show that the, the lady is interested in if it's a book they're willing to read the book that that lady or the books that she's interested in so they will have something to talk about men who do this their aim is to convince the woman they're interested in and also deceive her in the process that they have similar interest and that they are compatible some men go to the length of joining the church choir they'll start singing what they don't really love doing what they're not interested in they will become a fellowship goer a church goer just to be closer to the woman and they're even willing to start dressing like a christian brother depending on how the church dresses i mean the doctrine of the church regarding their outfits how they dress in that particular church you no know, churches are different they have different doctrines you know what i mean so some guys are willing to do that and this happens a lot in university setting especially in nigeria yeah some guys will come to church to deceive women so they can sleep with them once they are done sleeping with them they're gone have you wondered how men are consistently able to trick you into sleeping with them does he seem so perfect at the very beginning and then as soon as you finally give yourself to him all of a sudden he becomes a totally different person this is a real sneaky trick that men play and it works pretty much every time 
Which is why on today's live show, we're going to be discussing how men fake their personality to sleep with you, of course. That way you can finally know the strategy they're using and be able to prevent yourself from ever being tricked again. Join the show. Another personality some guys fake is acting overly attentive, love bombing, giving so much attention at the beginning stage of the relationship. Yeah, this is a strategy that a good number of men use to deceive women. They will sell the dream of the perfect guy to that woman. Oh, I'm attentive. I reply messages on time. I reply calls on time. I text you. They're willing to text you early in the morning, late at night, call you, send you mail, do everything you want because they understand that this is what a lady is looking for so they are willing to swing into action and play that role just for a given period of time and it's called the honeymoon stage so a lot of guys put up an act just to deceive that woman whichever woman they're interested in to make her believe i'm that guy i understand what you want and i'm here to give you what you want once they've gotten what they want from that woman they change their gear they're no longer interested ladies don't fall for it it's a make believe i understand the honeymoon stage lasts for six months ones for some people while some people say it's one year i don't know the exact time duration for the honeymoon phase but one thing that is certain is this a good number of men tend to pretend during that honeymoon phase at this honeymoon stage it's truly difficult to tell a man's true intention the man is just riding off on hormones on how he feels it's just a matter of time that feeling is going to die off and the man's true color will start showing so ladies I would advise us not to get carried away when we meet someone new. We just have to be very observant, give them time and watch them closely to see their genuine intention towards you, to know if they truly care and know why they are in your life, why they are truly in your life. So a lot of you have asked me, how do you know if this man that you're dating is love bombing you or not? Now I have been love bombed before, so I'm going to tell you what I look for to see if I'm being love bombed and how I test it. Number one, are they giving me intense and immediate affection? Lots of love and compliments when they don't even really know me yet. I have not shown them enough about me to warrant these compliments. Number two, they are rapidly escalating the relationship. They're asking for exclusivity quickly. They're future faking and talking about our future together. And they're telling me that they love me right away when that's impossible to love somebody until you've seen all of their sides. Number three, they give me excessive attention to the point where I no longer get any alone time, nor do they want me to have any alone time. They want to consume all of my time and attention. Number four, they've already idealized me. They've put me on a pedestal. They're giving me lots of flattery when I haven't earned it yet. They don't know me well enough to give me that kind of flattery and attention. Number five, they're exhibiting controlling behavior. They're really trying to isolate me from my friends, from the life that I've had. They tell me how I should wear my hair, how I should do my makeup, what clothes I should and should not wear. Number six, usually their behavior is inconsistent because it's a hard facade to keep up and it feels like their behavior isn't really sincere either. Number seven, they lack healthy boundaries and they don't wanna respect your boundaries. So here are the four things that I do right away to test to see if it's love bombing. Number one, I reflect on whether or not I am deserving of the attention and the gifts and the flattery that they've been giving me. Do they actually know me well enough to warrant all of this? Another point to look out for is hiding your true opinion. Some men go to the length of hiding their true opinion not just to offend you they just want to be in your good book continually in your good book to make sure they avoid anything that is going to cause controversy anything that is going to make the both of you argue so you will not have reasons to want to leave him or reasons to not want to give him a chance you know what i mean so that man will just be there as a dummy anything you say he will agree to any suggestion you make he will agree to he will never object it's always your right. I think your opinion is best. I think your decision is the best. I think your suggestion is better. Let's go with yours. I don't think anyone wants to have someone like that. It comes off more as a puppet. 
he's just acting up he's just there that man is not being real with you if you notice something like that it's obvious that something is off there's something fishy going on that man is not telling you the truth if you have a man that is always agreeing to everything he never gives his opinion he resells your opinion to you and he accepts whatever you say that is a red flag right there let's talk about those men that overplay confidence and masculinity this is also a strategy for them confidence is attractive right but there's a difference between a guy who is naturally self-assured and a guy who is putting up a show men have admitted to over exaggerating how successful and how confident they are because they understand that is what a good number of women like and what they're looking out for that fake bravado is a clear sign that man is not secure as he pretends to be have you ever met a guy that within 20 minutes he has told you everything about his life what he has people he has met places he has been to what he's up to his the amount of money in his bank account for me that's red flag you're putting up a show there's no point doing all that if you truly do have it and it's obvious that you're struggling and you're mounting pressure on yourself just to prove a point to me and that's fishy that's suspicious if you ask me so if you meet people like that they're mouthy they can use their mouth to sell a continent yeah they have sweet mouth they say so many things but when it comes to reality those things don't exist so those are people you have to look out for when you meet a guy like that that's red flag i'm not saying that every guy out there that is mouthy is a liar but a good number of them are liars people that flash their achievement within few minutes of meeting them people that talk about sweet things about themselves places they've been to things they've done people they know the celebrities they know they brag with people hmm you just have to be careful of people like that a guy becoming what he thinks you want him to be him shaping himself into the ideal man just to fit in be careful of men like that let's say you met this man and he wasn't what you wanted all of a sudden he became what you wanted or what you want in the man it's not something for you to be excited over it's something for you to take a step back and look closely and inspect and ask necessary question how come you were like this all of a sudden you just changed into the perfect man it's suspicious this is one of the biggest trick in the book men changing their behavior just to fit in to become the perfect partner a lady is looking out for sometimes when you go on a date and you tell a man i'm looking for a man that is like this a man that acts this way a man that can cook clean this some men are very deceitful and cunning the moment you're telling them what you're looking for that's you giving them weapon giving them ideas telling them what to do if the man you're saying all these to is not a good man he's going to use that information and become that man you told him you're looking for when i say do not tell these men how they should treat you because he knows how he is supposed to treat you if he feels that you are the woman for him he's gonna treat you the right way yes it's okay to talk about your feelings this is what i don't like but don't tell him no you have to get me flowers hey you have to take me out on dates he's gonna come and act and become someone so he can get whatever that he wants from you and once he has gotten it you are done for <laughs> It's better to just let him do things out of free will and if he's not doing what you want, you let him go. He is not the one for you. Ladies, never teach a man how you want to be treated. Because the guy was there for the wrong reasons and now has all the information they need. They know what to say, they know what to do in order to win you over. And as soon as they do that, they'll take what they want out of you and then they're out the door. And the guy who is there for the right reasons won't need to be told to text you often or call you often or ask you out on dates or treat you with respect or any of those things. He's going to want to do that naturally. So instead of teaching a man how you want to be treated, create an environment where they can be who they want to be and do what they want to do and observe. And if that doesn't align with you, just move on. You might think it's a good thing. It's not a good thing because that new persona is not going to last for long. He's just putting up a performance for you. People don't change overnight. People don't easily change. If a change is fast, it's something for you to ask questions about. You need to be suspicious of such change. I'm not saying that a man cannot make adjustments with regards to his personality, his character to become a better version. That is possible. But when someone changes drastically just to fit into a requirement, a criteria, 
to fitting into someone you've already painted the kind of man you love to be be with then it's suspicious a good number of people usually advise ladies not to tell men exactly what you're looking for in in men because what most men do they will reshape themselves to fit into that partner that lady is looking out for so you have to be careful out there keep whatever you're looking for to yourself until you find that man because when you find that man you would know you don't need to tell someone so you don't get deceived when you meet a man of course he's going to ask you what you're looking for in a relationship and if i were you i would tell him oh i like good morning texts i like good night texts i like it when i get flowers once a week i admire a guy who tells me every day how beautiful i am no stop of course you're not gonna do that because you know what's going to happen for the next three weeks or one month you will get your good morning texts every morning your good night texts every night he will tell you every day how beautiful you are and you'll get your flowers every friday because he wants you to like him but if you are smart you're not going to tell him exactly what you want let him figure it out by himself but what you should do you should give him a little hint help him a little bit just don't give him the ready package with all the steps to your heart and this is what i really think you should say you should say something like i value a man whose words are aligned with his actions a man who does what he says that he will do a man who has old school manners and who is willing to prioritize his relationship that is what i'm looking for in a relationship and then you give him the space to show you what kind of man he is when a man asks you what are you looking for in a relationship in a man you never want to tell him exactly what you're looking for let me explain why hello my name is carla and restoring healthy mindset is my thing your intuition is telling you just be honest tell him but i'm here to tell you that it's a mistake if you tell him exactly what you're looking for why it encourages for him to be fake to pretend that he is all the things that you look for in a man until he gets what he wants even Taylor Swift says it in some of her songs that she literally transforms into the girl that the man wants for a couple of months until she gets what she wants. Same thing with men. So instead, this is what I want you to do. Be vague. Say, I'm looking for a gentleman. That's all you need to say. Because then he will show you what gentleman means to him. And if it's not enough for you, at least you got to see him for who he truly is. Not something that you wanted let's talk about the emotional manipulators these ones are a little more dangerous these men are very much aware that women are emotionally intelligent so they fake vulnerability have you ever had a guy open up to you way too soon telling you all about his deepest trauma just on the second or third day of the date of meeting him this could be his manipulative tactic just to make you feel like you are the one to save him a good number of guys use this strategy because they know it creates false intimacy but it's just an illusion there is no real intimacy there their aim is to make you feel bonded towards them make you feel like you have this emotional connection towards them but in real sense they truly did not open up to you so you're the one being deceived not them so ladies don't be in a hurry to be in a relationship with anyone don't be in a hurry to get married to anyone you need time take your time take your time to observe the person study the person take your time to run the proper check on the person investigate the person because marriage is a serious thing this is you bringing someone else into your space someone that will share your space with you share your life with you so you should be taken seriously after your life marriage should be the next most serious thing because whatever you have in your life can either make or marry you so don't take it lightly so don't joke with it be serious about it and don't be in a hurry to make that decision people are deceitful people are corny people are willing to go any length just to get what they want men are willing to go any length just to deceive women and get what they want from women so be vigilant don't fall prey don't fall victim be smart click this video to watch men expose how other men use women for survival and i will see you all in the next one bye bye